Goodbye, summer. Hello, winter. That is right, we are back in Canada. Hello everyone, we hope you had a great weekend. Today we wanted to check in with you. We wanted to first of all welcome a lot of new subscribers who've recently joined our community. Our travels in Australia have brought many new faces to this channel and we just want to welcome you all. We're really excited to share what's next. Yeah, and start to have a few more Australians on board. Yeah, so today we just wanted to do a quick catch up on where we've been, where we are now, and where we are going. So first, these last six weeks, we have been traveling through Australia. As you would have saw if you've been following along our Australia series, we started by surprising Max's family. Hey! hey. Recognize this house? Hey. His brother just had a baby, and we got to meet his baby Rory at one month old. From there, we decided we needed to get around the country and visit all of his friends and family. So we found a van and actually bought a van, which we named Kanga Blue, thanks to you all. That was a good deal. From there, we drove the van up to Byron Bay and back down to Newcastle, started our travels inland towards Victoria, which is where Max is originally from. On the way, we stopped at the Blue Mountains. We showed you the beautiful Wentworth Falls. We went inland to Melbourne the City. We went down the Great Ocean Road in a yellow combi. From there, we decided to loop back around and stop at Jarvis Bay, which is the last video that you saw last week with a gorgeous white sand and blue, blue water. Yeah, I think overall we covered about five and a half thousand Ks and had an absolute blast doing it. It was so good catching up with friends and family. And if you haven't seen any of those, we've got an Australia playlist that will catch you up on all of those. Yeah. Now to fill you in on what's happened from- Since our last video. Yeah, so in the last week, we have traveled up from Jarvis Bay North, stopped in at my brother's place in Newcastle, picked him up and then Lee, myself and Tom have gone up to our first ever van life gathering, which was run by the Legends Van Life Diaries. And we had such a good time. We kind of didn't really know what to expect and thought it was going to be a bit more of a party vibe than it was, but I guess in true Australian style, it was very laid back, very chilled out. Met some amazing people in general, but also amazing musicians, great surfers, just great people that I know we're going to be friends with for a long time. So that was so cool to do. <laughs> wondering what happened to Kanga Blue since we're now back in Canada. We were able to sell our van the very last second at the end of the weekend to one of the staff members working at the campground which the, where the van gathering was held. Time has come. We are saying goodbye to Kanga Blue. It is in great hands of Moana. We're really excited to be passing it on. We're going to introduce you. Give, do the key exchange. Excited. A little sad to see Kanga Blue go but yeah. Mora is so just over the moon about it. It's her yeah. first ever car, let yeah. alone her first van. Yeah. And the fact that it's happened at a van life gathering. Yeah, it's just serendipitous. It's so your first vehicle, yeah. your first time driving in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. It's yours. Yeah. Kangaroo. Have yeah. yeah, the best time. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the beautiful oh, yoga class this morning. Yeah. Take it on plenty of oh. adventures. And to just yeah. finish the story, Mora, you're from Germany. <laughs> You've been living here on and off for a few yeah. months. And yes. this is going to be her new home to travel yes. around Australia. First ever van, first ever home. Yes. Kango is yours. Living the van life. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect end to van gathering. We are so excited that Kanga Blue is going to live on and we know that Mora is going to take it on some amazing adventures. We're really happy that that is all squared off and we're... Yeah. yeah. And it really finished the circle of van life because she's yeah. taking that one over. We're coming back to ours very shortly. and. After the we sold the van, we actually went with the whole crew that were at the Van Life Gathering and joined the One Wave movement, where we all dressed up in fluoro and went for a surf, and it's all for a good cause about promoting talking about mental health. And yeah. if you haven't seen them before, look them up. Prince Harry even did a, a thing with them every Friday morning, I think at 6.30 a.m. If you see people in fluoro down the beach, that's what they're doing. Yeah, and it's a great organization, yeah. and it's fun to throw the drone up and see everybody doing some party waves and having a great time together. So yeah. it, was, it was an end to a great weekend and an even better six weeks traveling around Australia. That brings us to our 30-hour journey home. Well, 
before that though was the oh, right. the one part that I wasn't looking forward to with the whole Australia journey, which was saying goodbye to everyone. My family was so for starters, obviously so great to catch up with them all. We spent so much quality time together. In fact, probably more than we had in a long time. And I think it took me being away for so long to then come back and catch up with them and really get everyone together so much. But on top of that, as you guys all saw, they were very supportive with our YouTube. My mum's now commenting on some of the video comments. My brother is, and I love that. They're so great with it all, but I want to say a special thanks to Tom. So Tom has been such an integral part of our YouTube videos, and we're so sad to see him going that he feels like, for you guys, he has to show you one final unicycle trick. I'm a little bit skeptical that he can do it, but he's going to go for it. Guys, prayers for Tom. He was so good, he was a star. I think he should have his own YouTube channel. If you guys do too, put in the comments below. Encourage him because I think he just needs that little bit of encouragement and he may do it. Yeah. But yeah, so thank you Tom. It was so good catching up with you and I'm missing you already. After saying our goodbyes, we had to start our 30 hour journey back to Canada. However, this time it was rather uneventful. We had all of our visas in order. We were extra early at the airport, so we just slept with a lot of anticipation to get back to Aki. Back to Canada. <laughs> and just like that, after a quick 30 odd hours, we are back in the cold, yeah. beanie on, toque on, we, <laughs> almost we were, you in the eye. We were looking around. We're one of the only people wearing thongs, aka flip flops at the moment, but hopefully we'll just turn up the crank of the heat when we get in the car. Yeah, so one of our biggest things we're excited for now is getting back and seeing little Oppie. Ready, guys? Hi, Hello. Hello. Hey, y'all. Uh. Hey, buddy. Oh my god, what a giant action! <laughs> <laughs> He's too tall. Oh you didn't recognize us? You didn't recognize us? Oh, he's so clean. You guys think we're what? <laughs> <laughs> I think he misses you more again. Hey bud, you remember me? He looks really Raised good. You? Somebody wash him. So we have to admit we were a little bit underwhelmed by Oki's reaction to us getting back and it turns out we found out the next day that there may have been a bit of a reasoning behind it. We took Oki in for his vet health check to start the process to get him ready for going back to Columbia and in the time we've been away, two months, he has put on 3.2 kilos. So I think he's been getting quite a few snacks from grandma and grandpa and has maybe in, overindulged a bit and was a little bit guilty seeing us. But we're just so stoked that they took such good care of him and they were amazing. And since we've been back with him, we've just been spending quality time with him. And as you can tell right now by the Aki cam, he's a little tuckered out because today we got out in the snow. So you can't really tell, but we are out in the middle of Kempenfelt Bay. This is the bay that Barry is built around. At w in the winter, you can walk right across it. In the summer, there's boats, kayakers, everything on the water. It's a pretty cool feeling to walk around in the winter. Get her off. Yeah, 
it's all great to be back together as a trio and we're really excited for what's next. That brings us to this exact moment. We are back in Canada now. We have one week to get organized for the next year, which is the next leg of our grand adventure. So as you can imagine, that is very busy and hectic, having to renew our licenses, get our health insurance, get Aki vet approved to fly back to Columbia. Meanwhile, saying goodbye to family and friends. And honestly, we're still jet lagged. We're both tired and it has been a great last seven weeks, but it has been very, very, very busy. So yeah. our priorities right now is to take care of ourselves and to make sure that we have everything that we need to start the next leg of this adventure. Therefore, next week, we are gonna take the week off. So we are gonna get started on our South American adventure on March 10th, so two Sundays from now. Yeah. Do you have anything you wanna add? Well, yeah, we've definitely been burning the candle at both ends and the van actually needs a little bit of maintenance when we get back as well, which is something we didn't exactly tell you guys. We said it was all good when we left, but it actually needs to go back to the mechanic. There's a little bit of issues with the transmission. Hopefully it's a small problem. Yeah. So we're gonna be fully prepared and good to go. March 10th, we'll see you there. Make sure you turn on your notifications and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. bring you up to date then. See you in two weeks. Bye, Bye guys. guys.